Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want and thanks for logging on. Today we are looking at the Jeger LeCoult Master Compressor Extreme World Chronograph. 46.5 millimeters. You can see this watch in both titanium and stainless steel within one case on our website, watchyouwant.com. Purchase it there and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Watch You Want Inc. This watch is immense and immensely complicated. It's rather an entire toolbox of sports watch complications wrapped in a titanium and stainless steel 2000G impact resistant water resistant case. Now in the mid 2000s, Jezier LeCoult decided that it was going to go after Audemars Piguet in AP's own game and this watch targeted the legendary Royal Oak offshore directly. Near neighbors, they're only a few miles apart in the Valais de Jeu, and the competition was intense. In 2005, Jezier LeCoult rolled out its Extreme World Chronograph here and the Extreme World Alarm, a combination of that outstanding bipartite case with a 65-hour power reserve in-house automatic winding column wheel vertical clutch world-time chronograph movement. This is an immense sports watch with a huge backstory, and it starts with the case itself. As you can see, it's essentially a modular design with this inner portion being a titanium cradle that's lowered into an outer stainless steel impact chassis. It's free floating and you can see how the movement itself with the pushers and the crown on the three o'clock side is actually placed into that outer chassis. Now there is a spring-loaded compartment in the bottom portion of the watch that effectively acts as a cushioning bed for that inner case and by making the inner case titanium the mass, the entire inertia of that insert is minimized. It's an incredible concept and I've heard of people going mountain biking with these, playing golf with them, even using hammer games at carnivals and trying to peg the bell. I don't recommend any of the above, but the fact that it's been done is telling. Inside, the movement is free sprung and it does feature variable inertia balance blocks Rolex style, so the movement is as tough as the case itself. 100 meter water resistant, the watch features JLC's signature compressor crowns. So red you're dead, white you're tight, and that goes for every single one of the crowns. A half turn and it's open, a half turn and it's closed. Access to all of the functions as well as winding is that simple and it's far easier to manipulate when your hands are wet or gloved or sweaty than a comparable screw down system. Now the watch does feature an immense span 55 millimeters from lug to lug it is 16 millimeters thick so this watch rides high on the wrist but because of the titanium inner cradle it doesn't feel that heavy on the wrist. You can see the impression on my 16 centimeter wrist it's imposing but it's not overwhelming and I'll even add that I own the Extreme World Alarm in the same size case and I wear it regularly. A big part of the ergonomic equation is the smart shape of the lugs and you can see how they do wrap around my wrist so the curvature of the lugs meets the expected form of a normal size human wrist. Likewise, you'll notice that the strap itself, brilliantly bolstered and built like a tank, nevertheless does not conform entirely to the end of the case, so the small daylight between strap and case is worth the extra degree of flexibility that it endows. This is an easy watch to wear on a smaller wrist. It really does disappear on a smaller wrist in spite of its size, much in the fashion of some of the best Hublot designs, but this watch is far richer in every respect than an Hublot. The strap is a fantastic piece. You can see it's essentially as thick as the armor on the side of a tank with a beautiful, a beautiful double contrasting stitch and again, friendly to a smaller wrist, it features the double fold deployant without that single one pinching up and over fold of a single. The double deployment makes this easier to wear on a smaller wrist just as the largely titanium inner case construction successfully reduces the mass for an easy wrist impression. World time on the dial, you have a counter rotating reference ring. It does have a sapphire overlay to distinguish between AM PM and you can see that sapphire uh, half circle that's overlaid across the PM segment of the, of the globe. That segment is half of the 24 reference time zone chapter ring outboard of the counter rotating 24 hour chapter ring. Counter rotating 24 hour means that once you have your reference city set at six o'clock and you can see mine is New York, you simply look to see what is the time that has passed most recently to the right of that reference city. And I can see 19, so I know that's seven o'clock. Likewise, I can see my center time is seven o'clock. These are in sync. Now I can look across from every single one of these reference cities and know just by referencing that hour and my minute hand, 
what time it is in any one of the world's 24 principal time zones. And of course, I do have that great caliber 752 in-house movement. Laser welded hairspring, free sprung balance, 65 hour power reserve, highly efficient unidirectional automatic winding with unlubricated high efficiency ceramic rotor bearings. This movement was a pace setter for innovation at JLC from the mid to late 2000s. The first entirely in-house automatic chronograph movement created by JLC. It was an historic piece that continues to form the foundation of all the chronograph movements JLC builds to this day. You can see the unique disc re representation of chronograph hours at nine o'clock, and you can see the jump minute indicator at three o'clock with a dive style constant operation, constant seconds indicator at six. Naturally, the watch does feature hacking seconds, so you pull the crown, you stop the balance, freeze the seconds hand, now you can synchronize precisely to a reference timer. It has a quick set for its date function, and because it is a vertical clutch architecture, you can leave that center seconds chronograph hand running continuously if you prefer to use that to read off your seconds alongside the hour and the minute rather than the continuous function indicator at six. And again, with the compressor system, you have instant access to your controls in spite of 100 meter, 330 foot water resistance. If that wasn't enough, on the case back, trigger actuated quick release lugs. So if you want to dress it up on a bracelet or dress it down on rubber, it's no more than a pull tab away. You can see this immense and immensely complicated Jezer Le Coult Master Compressor Extreme World Chronograph and purchase it on our website, watchyouwant.com.